While they might appear to be ordinary, happy-go-lucky kids, these students from Helen Lehman Elementary in Santa Rosa have the strength and the determination to do something that perhaps no other sixth grade class in the United States can claim. They are embarking on a one day, 20 mile walk. This is much more than just getting them strong and feeling good about themselves. It's, they're accomplishing something that they can be proud of. That this is a, an accomplishment. Jeff Tobes has been a teacher for 39 years and for the past 10 has introduced walking field trips into his class curriculum. What started out as a way to help keep kids healthy has evolved into much, much more. Their education is much more than just in the classroom. The classroom has its place, it's very important. You need desks, you need to take tests, yeah, obviously you need that. But I like to think the world is their classroom, really. And when I take them on walks, that's how they really see it. They might not be able to express it, but we see things that they've never seen. We see the cemetery. We explain Santa Rosa history. We study, you know, the plants on the way, the water, the creeks. On this walk is going to be walking through the five biggest parks of Santa Rosa, and we're going to take water samples along the way, and, you know, we're, they're going to be young scientists. But besides the specific purpose, or the primary purpose, it's what they observe, what they see. This one boy said, well, Mr. Tobes, what's that? I said, that's a, that's a vineyard. Well, what's a vineyard? Well, they grow grapes. You mean grapes we eat? I said, no, these grapes are for wine. Oh, wine, I've heard of wine. I mean, we live in Sonoma County, you'd never really, no one ever expressed or told him that that's, that is what a vineyard is, and he's probably passed 100 of them. In order to work up to the 20 mile trek, they first complete walks of five, 10, and 15 miles. The kids also have to train on their own. By the end of the school year, each student has logged over 100 miles. Each child carries with them a checklist. Along with eucalyptus trees and blackberry bushes, they also made note of the number of homes for sale found along the 20-mile route. The journey yielded many other discoveries as well. Some of the everyday variety, like cute little doggies or the joy of skipping stones, but also the unexpected. This unique vehicle, as the owner explained, measures frequencies broadcast from TV and radio stations. There are only nine of its type on the entire planet. History revealed itself before their very eyes. As Mr. Tobes articulated, this spot on Brush Creek, where Native Americans used to gather, known as Flat Rocks, is where Santa Rosa got its name. In 1827, Padre Amoros baptized a Pomo maiden on the day celebrated as Feast of the Roses, which honors the life of St. Rose. From then on, the area became known as Santa Rosa. Three years later, Maria Carrillo came with her family and built the Carrillo Adobe, which was the first house in all of Santa Rosa. I want to get them out of the house. I want to get them out of their vehicles. I want them to get them away from their iPods and their Game Boys and such. I want them to walk and observe and see things and learn from the observations. Like most innovative ideas, this one had its skeptics. Initially, the parents are really apprehensive about this. Their kid can't walk 20 miles, are you kidding? They won't even take the trash out, let alone walk 20 miles, you must be crazy. But when challenged, these kids didn't just go the full mile, they went 20. It gets your heart better, and uh, I just wish my parents could have done this because they both have diabetes, and so it's my grandpa and grandma and uncle. Well, I feel proud of myself walking all that much. It helps you be healthier, like live a longer life, and you could be with your friends, you could be talking, and we go to fun places. While you're walking, you don't just walk and not talk at all. I mean, you really get to know people while you're walking. You get to learn more about them, where they come from, their culture, what they like, what they don't like. Really get to enjoy yourself on the walk. 
The group stops every hour to stretch, hydrate, and eat healthy snacks. They have a great attitude, are knowledgeable and well prepared with all the tools necessary to handle any issue that may arise. This is a small first aid pack. It's for, um, because even with the Cool Max socks, then, which are good for your feet because the water runs up through here and evaporates, aids all the sweat so that they don't stay at the bottom of your feet and cause friction. But even with that, then your feet can still get blisters if you're walking long enough. So this is moleskin that, I, that you just see me put on. Mr. Tobes will say too, or he'll say, uh, I don't want any crybabies on the walk. They can walk 20 miles voluntarily, without complaining, and strong at the end. I mean, what other sixth graders can do that?